Hey guys, how often have you come out to your car and somebody's written some obscene gesture on your vehicle or washed me without realizing it scratches your paint? Now that's the same case with this black Hyundai. Somebody decided to write wash me on there and create some kind of artist drawings all over the vehicle that have actually scratched the clear coat and it's left behind these micro scratches that are still in the paint and I'm going to show you how to easily remove them using our Torque R rotary polisher. Now, a rotary polisher moves a lot faster than a dual action, so this is going to take it down faster. It's going to give you more professional results while using less effort. And also to help me do this, we're going to use some slick finish cleaner wax. And what this is, is a wax that has abrasives in there to knock down the minor scratches that are in the paint while leaving behind a protective coat that's going to help really bring out that black gloss. So we'll first shake up the bottle, and like we always do, we're going to apply five dime-sized drops to our pad using a white Hexlogic foam pad. These are great for finishing or using any kind of light abrasive final polishes to thoroughly break it down to get the best results. And I'm also going to spray some pad conditioner on here. This is going to help lubricate and moisturize the pad because a rotary polisher generates a lot of heat which can burn the paint. So by reducing that, we're going to reduce any chances of harming the finish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blotch it out just like we always do in a small two by two section. Now what's unique about the rotary is when you turn this on and also when you turn it off, you do it off the vehicle. Unlike when the dual action, when you place it on the vehicle, turn it on, this is the exact opposite. It's so you don't create a micro scratch or a swirl in the paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on the lowest speed setting, and we're going to spread this out, and then we can put uh, speed setting three to do our actual polishing. After thoroughly working the polish into the affected area here, we're going to take a clean microfiber towel and start buffing it off. This is the green happy ending towel, which is super plush, and it also has this laser cut edge. This is just a way to ensure that we don't add any new imperfections to the paint. We're going to place it on the vehicle and work it back and forth in straight lines. It comes off nice and easy because there's little residue left behind, and also that wax is adding to a high shine. So just buff it all off. I can see that it's taking care of those scratches and swirls to bring back this nice, smooth, reflective finish. And it was super easy. The rotary doesn't take a whole lot of effort to work with. Unlike traditional old school style where it was a monster that would beat you up, this one is actually really comfortable to use. It's really quiet so it doesn't take a toll on yourself. And also without that trigger, it's not a fatigue on your hands so you don't cramp up as you're polishing. So if you guys want to learn more about these products, go to our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time right here in the Detail Garage.